Howdy! In this video, I will go over how to use the import CSV method for overwriting a student's final grade in Canvas. You may want to do this at either the midterms or final grade submission timeframe. What this method will do is it will allow you to export your Canvas gradebook, modify the final score, and have Canvas converted into the scheme that you have already set in your course. A few things that you may need to do in your Canvas course before going through this method is to go to your course in Canvas. From there, you're going to go to Settings and make sure you have the correct grading scheme. To do this, under the Course Details tab, you're going to scroll down, locate this grading scheme you may have already set. If you haven't already set one, go ahead and select this checkbox to set it now. View the grading scheme and make sure the scheme that you have is appropriate for it to be converted. Whenever you import your Canvas gradebook back into Canvas using Excel, Canvas will use this grading scheme that you have selected to convert your grade into a letter. So whatever I have in my final override column that I create in just a moment, it will use these numbers here to convert it back into a letter. Once I have made sure and reviewed these grades here, I can either click done and, and then select update course details or do nothing if I did not make any changes. Since I didn't make any changes, I'm not going to update my course details, but make sure you click done first and then update course details where necessary. After you have reviewed and ensured that your course grading scheme is exactly what you need it to look like, you can scroll back up and on the left hand side within the course navigation, click on grades. First thing you would do is you would review all the grades that you currently have entered for your students. You can scroll through along here and make sure and review all the grades are entered appropriately. We recommend to make sure you are placing zeros where necessary, marking students as excused where necessary, and entering all grades manually if needed. These are the steps that we recommend to do before finalizing any grades, either for midterms or final grade submission. After you have viewed all the grades and confirmed for accuracy, we recommend to scroll on over and locate the total column. You can see that it is already calculating a total letter grade that will be sent over to Howdy. If you have not already, we are going to be working with the override column in Canvas. What this override column in Canvas is made to do is you will manually override and give students a different grade than the grade that's currently being given to them here. For example, in my scenario, I can see this student and I want to give them a B, um, move them up from the C to the B. I can't manually do this here. What I would do is I can manually type in this override column a B. But if I wanted to, I can use Excel to do some calculations for me to give an overall curve onto my final grade, to my total grade, so that I could create and have Canvas convert this into a letter itself. What will happen is I will go into the Actions area to do this. From Actions, I will click on this option and then click on Export. From here, a great book export is going to start and download onto your computer. I'm going to go ahead and open up that CSV file that gets created for me. After I have opened the CSV that gets created for me, I can scroll on over all the way to the right hand side. And I'm going to locate the column titled override score. As of right now, this override score column is empty, but what I could do is I can actually create and use formulas in Excel to look for the final score that I need it to look at. And then I can add a manual curve if I needed to. So for my example in my course, I want to add five points total to the overall score. And then click on Enter and utilize the Excel functions to create and calculate a new score for me. 
So now what this did is if I can look through here, it is going to give me a different score. For example, this student did have a C and now they will be going to a B. Same with this student. This student will be getting an A and then this student will be getting an A as well. So now what I would do is this override score column is complete. Now I want Canvas to do the math for me and calculate what a score is. So I would save this document. Go ahead and save it. Go back into Canvas. And now under Actions, instead of Export, I will click on Import. After I've gone to that area, then I will upload my gradebook back into my course by clicking Choose File, select the document, click Upload Data, and it will let me know that I have changed some scores. Earlier, as we saw, the override score column was blank, and now it is giving me these new numbers. So I will go ahead and save changes, and it will upload. From this pop-up, I will click on OK. Then I will scroll over all the way to the right-hand side to locate the new grade that I'm giving to students. So students had originally these grades here, and it keeps and retains those original ones. So I can see that the student went from a C to a B, B to an A, and so forth. Students will only see the override column if I have this enabled. They will not see this raw score. If I want them to know the raw score, I would have to click in here and manually type in the raw score that I wanted to give them. This concludes the video on how to use the import CSV method to override the final score in Canvas. To learn more, please visit lms.tamu.edu or email us at aihelp at tamu.edu. Thank you.